Coming up in sports, Ohio softball is in Kent this weekend to take on the Golden Flashes while the baseball team looks to end their road trip on the right foot. All this and more coming after the break. And be sure to stay tuned to WOUB. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight on your public television station. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Darius Sethna. The Ohio softball team's road game today has been canceled. According to a release from the Ohio Athletic Department, the match between the Bobcats and Kent State Golden Flashes has been canceled because of poor field and weather conditions in Kent. The two teams are still scheduled to face off in a doubleheader tomorrow with first pitch set for 1 p.m. in Kent. The Bobcats sit second in the MAC with an 11-6 record against conference opponents, while Kent State is in ninth place. The Golden Flashes come off a three-game series against Northern Illinois, winning two of the three matchups. The Ohio baseball team was on the road today. The team took on Moorhead State earlier this afternoon and had a terrific seventh inning. The team scored a grand total of, uh, excuse me, uh, three runs in the frame. They conceded nine runs in the eighth inning, though, and the Bobcats eventually fell in this one 13 to 6. Ohio has won four of their last seven games, but dropped their previous game of 3 to 1 against Eastern Michigan on Sunday. The Bobcats return to Athens Saturday with a doubleheader against Canisius. The Ohio men's golf team is gearing up for the MAC tournament later this month. The Bobcats take to the course in Naperville, Illinois, April 29th through May 1st. Ohio's last bit of the regular season play came to an end yesterday. The Bobcats tied for fourth place in the Wright State Invitational with the team score of 598. The final round was the in of the Invitational was canceled because of weather conditions. The results of the previous two rounds were considered the official scores. Zach Mandry and Sam Hogan both finished in the top 15, with Mandry tying for fifth and Hogan tying for 13th. They'll anchor the Bobcats in the MAC tournament. The first round of the NBA playoffs are underway. We have had some surprises so far, including a huge road victory for the Minnesota Timberwolves over Memphis and a Jason Tatum buzzer beater to give Boston a 1-0 lead over the Brooklyn Nets. Another series captivating basketball fans is the Utah Jazz and Dallas Mavericks. The series is knotted up at one game apiece despite Dallas being without Luka Doncic. Jalen Brunson scored a career-high 41 points for the Mavericks and hauled in eight rebounds to help Dallas secure a 110-104 win. The series shifts to Salt Lake City for Game 3 Thursday night. Here is a look at some of the upcoming games we have in the first round. Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks are on the docket tonight. They look to bounce back in Miami after suffering a 24-point trouncing in Game 1. The Minnesota Timberwolves look to head back to the Twin Cities with a 2-0 series lead over the Memphis Grizzlies. And the final game for tonight is in Phoenix, as the defending Western Conference champion Suns look to get a pair of wins against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Suns took Game 1 on Sunday. The Boston Celtics and Brooklyn Nets battle it out once more at the TD Garden tomorrow. Kevin Durant looks to regain momentum after a rough performance Sunday. Game 2 between the Bulls and Bucks from Milwaukee is also tomorrow, with tip-off at 9.30 p.m. I'm Darius Sethna, and that's it for sports. Back to you, Lexi.